thanks for tuning in to the Speedway Car Cams video. I hope you all enjoy it. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Share with your friends and family. Hope you have a good weekend and Father's Day. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your to win $20,000 tonight in the 42nd annual USA 100. Hey, 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 hey. Jamaica, Virginia, they're coming at you forward! They will begin in the form in their double foul. Everybody else is going to make it through two and three. They're three wide down the middle.
middle of the backstretch. Ross Bell's diving to the inside. That's for about the 10th or 11th oh, position. Benji. Got one up against the wall. Ross, excuse me, Benji Hicks up against the outside. Benji Hicks up under the wall of the Longhorn. Damages the back end of the first floor on the right side. And in like a trap in Daytona or Talladega in the top five. Now almost to spot 25 on the back straightaway. It's Millwood leading off turn four. With about a 10 car length advantage over Zach Mitchell. Two winners already on this Ultimate Tour this year. Then it's Irwin and McDowell side by side. Good three wide battle down the front straightaway. And we're back around to four and Millwood will lead them off of four as flat four will go in the books. My goodness, Tommy, I wish that my buddy Kent Barley had multiple camera angles to keep up with all the action around here because you've got three wide racing in the back of the pack, the middle of the pack, the front of the pack. Millwood setting sail, but it's a hornet's nest in the USA 100 on lap four. Three wide again back there mid-pack between Walker, Arthur, Justin Williams, and Michael Page. Page with a very fast race car, two wins on the ultimate season already. He struggled up here in Virginia Motor a little bit tonight, although he did great in his heat race. B main, excuse me. Exactly right. Working on five now to 60. It is Tyler Millwood out in front. This would be the biggest win of his career. Let's not problem. Trouble. Benji Hicks, the long horn in turn two off the pace to the outside and a turn two. Caution lights will be illuminated around the speedway again for the second time. Tommy Tenner will be going under yellow flag right here at Bill Sawyer's Virginia Motor Speedway celebrating the 50th anniversary of racing at the track and season 16 on the year for fast track as we go into two decades of speed. Tommy, we're ready to come to green at a four. And Millwood will gas it up. We're back green flag racing on lap number six here in the USA 100. Millwood using the top side. Zach Mitchell also using top side. And he'll rock it back to the second spot. McDowell, he's on the top side, but he's got Brandon Overton in the four car right on his rear deck. Russell Irwin sandwiched in there in the third position, the 22 car. Watch the four of Overton. The guy knows a way to get around here for sure. He and Davenport put on the show just a couple months back. Sure did, in the King of the Commonwealth, we saw that. As he exit off a of turn four, Millwood still leads. Mitchell second, Russell Irwin third. Russell Irwin, this could be the biggest win of his career. Look at this, three and four wide across the stripe. Holy smokes, Tommy Tanner, don't put your hands between those cars. If you're watching out front, you're missing the race. Ken Bartley, wow, watch this middle here. Holy cow, they are side by side, beating and banging like crazy. But back out front, we got to call the leader, of course, and he's put about 10 car lengths over Zach Mitchell in the second place runner. Then it's just a couple back to Russell Irwin, then about five more back to the Mac Daddy Dale McDowell, and then about four or five more back to Brandon Overton. This lap 10 goes in the books, Wesley Allen. The turn one, Tyler Millwood hitting his marks in the top spot. Second spot, Zach Mitchell. In that number 57 inch Randy Henry, South Carolina, Russell Irwin sitting in third. Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell, he sits patiently in fourth. He knows how to pace himself for these big races. He works lap number 11 with Millwood still leading in your top five or all single file for the moment. Doesn't look like the gap has changed much. Millwood able to hold his lead. You see a lot of black being laid down in turn. They're laying a lot of rubbers down all the way around the racetrack. That just means that we're going to have a multi-groove track and good racing all throughout the night. Looks like the 55 of Benji Hicks is going to call it a night after the damage, tagging the turn two off. And tough break for Benji Hicks in that part 55, the long run. Sometimes it's best problems on a turn two. Got a car off the pace. Doug Sanders, Hillbilly Doug Sanders in the Springwood, North Carolina, was off the pace of the 42. He gets back rolling again, though. We'll stay green flag with 13 in and 60 in the USA 128 team, Tommy. He may have just been given the leader courtesy as Millwood now is reaching the tail of the field. Now this is where the second, third place guys can start making up some ground on your leader. Can Millwood pick and choose? They often say, the drivers often say, they'd rather be second as you uh, start to get to the tail of the field because where the leader goes, they go in the other way and sometimes it opens up. Got a car off the pace out of turn four. Tommy Row, 42, Doug Sanders. He'll pull in under green flag conditions. We're 15 laps in, 45 to go in the USA 100, and still Tyler Millwood leading the way. We'll reach 
join the race out front. It is Millwood as he begins to work the middle of the field, as we said. He's got two cars battling for position side by side. Millwood trying to find a spot to go. All the while, Zach Mitchell and Russell Irwin trying to dig their ways in. Millwood going to tip the toe it down into turn three, trying to look to the inside of turn three, the inside of Dustin Mitchell. But again, Mitchell and Bradshaw fighting side by side for position. They're not supposed to give up. You want to show the leader courtesy, but when they're battling for position, Mitch and Zach Mitchell now to the inside of your leader. For Coming the lead. side by side off of turn four is Mitchell and Millwood for the lead. Door to door. Mitchell, uh, Millwood will hold off Mitchell, but they're in traffic. Who can pick and choose it better, Wesley Allen? Picking off front cars one by one, but in the process, he's got now Mitchell in his midst. He'll pick off Mitchell. And Millwood will go to the outside. The other Mitchell, Zach Mitchell, to the inside. Oh, Millwood's went up the track. And we got a new leader inside. Can bring Zach Mitchell to the lead in turn one. Millwood slid a little high in three, trying to work the traffic. That and allowed Irwin is now in the second spot. Now Zach Mitchell, he's going to pick his Jesus way through. Again, the driver started out with the Ultimate Series when he was 14 years old behind the wheel of a super late model. At 12 years old. Through three and four now, Mitchell working to the very bottom of the speedway. He works to the inside of Bradshaw. Next car in front of him will be Rambo Dennis Franklin. This could be Mitchell, Irwin, Millwood. I mean, this is why we said this is an opportunity for a regional guy to become a super guy, Tommy, because this is the, one of the prestigious races in motorsports. When you win the, the USA 100, it's like winning the Dream 100 or the World 100 or the, the Dirt Track World Championship. It is a prestigious crown jewel. And for regional stars to have an opportunity to win this event, phenomenal, because national guys have won it before. And right as you say that, Millwood gathers right back to the rear deck of Zach Mitchell for the leader. Mitchell going to work the top of one and two, cuts off the nose of Millwood, and opens up about a three-car race a lead down the back straightaways. This, I believe, is this is a new Longhorn chassis for Zach Mitchell. I believe is his third race on it, and he's picked up two wins. Can he make it three in a row with a brand new Longhorn and a brand new Clements under the hood as well? Twenty-five laps coming up on the scoreboard this time by out in front. It is Zach Mitchell from Emory, South Carolina. And Tommy, let's talk about Zach Mitchell real quickly. He has gone through trouble in turn four. That's Irwin getting sideways. He'll save it, but he'll go outside the top five. Another car off the pace of the back straightaway, Tommy Tedder. Coming see, to pit road. Can't see the number yet. Still can't, but we're going to go back to the speedway because we got a battle for the wow. lead as we come up four. Millwood and Mitchell touch as they were both battling for the very bottom of the race trip track. Zach Mitchell out front, he is dedicated to the top side and may have slipped. Zach Mitchell slips at the top of one and two. Millwood back to the lead. Millwood will take it back like candy from a baby. And here comes the Mac Daddy, a national superstar. Dale Nick down in the Sweet Lucas Chassis 17M to the inside. He's looking for Mitchell for second spot. He's there on the inside of the two, Tommy. But what a run, Matt. Wow. Zach Mitchell gets off a of turn two. Rockets back in the front of Dale McDowell, and he'll keep her locked down on the inside through three and four. Oh, Caution on the speed. We got one. Turn two. It's Walker, dog. Walker Arthur, but in pointing the wrong direction, Tommy. Walker Arthur in the 87. Kryptonite chassis. He only bring them back to green as Tyler Millwood will lead them through three and four. Well, they're about to go to the BP race fuels, making power point out of turn four. Green flag going back in the air. We are back underway. Let's see how things develop on the restart. Hope shot's gonna go to Millwood. Mitchell on the inside. Here comes the Mac Daddy Del McDowell. He'll power to the outside of the racetrack. He'll carry Mitchell with him. And they go into turn three. Tyler bears in the top five with Big Sexy Everton. And they all get fishtailed out of four. Overton and Tyler Bear side by side. Now they single file it back up. Three wide as they go into one. Wow. Kenny Moreland and Joey Coulter and Russell Irwin were three wide as they went into one. Holy cow. We're getting tongue tied just by.
everybody seen all this chaos from up in the tower. There is action all over the speedway for us to catch, but wow, Tyler Millwood has opened up about a Look at this, in the back. back, in the back, three and four wide, Tommy, oh my. This is in the back, in the rear. Three wide, and they're racing for a position. And we're about to come to halfway. 30, Just down, and 30 halfway. to go, Tommy. Millwood, your leader at the halfway point, followed by the back daddy, Dale McDowell. It's about 10 car lengths back to Zach Mitchell in the 57, and just a couple back to Tyler Bear. Then it'll be Brandon Overton in the fifth position, and he will be trailed by Joey Coulter in the two, and Kyle Hardy has made his way up to the seventh position. Rambo gouging with another name of Donald Bradshaw back into the back of the pack. I'm watching this racing in the back while we're seeing the field, the top 10. They've all got single file. You've got furious racing. Well, here. Walker oh, Arthur around wow. trouble on the back straightaway. Back Walker, straightaway. Walker Arthur looped it on the back straightaway. Not sure if there was contact, but I guess there was. And hooked up with Brian Ligon, a former competitor rival of his in great racing. And now look where they're at in fifth. Millwood, gases are back up. We're back to the green flag racing. Mitchell with a good start that time from the outside. And now Del McDowell slides high. Tyler Bell work on it. Brandon Overton right on the deck of Tom. Del McDowell. Uh, Overton awesome. works to the outside. He's more to the outside. It looks like Kenny Orleans making the outside work for him in 24 as well. Three wide down the front stretch. Michael Page got bumped down to the inside. Wow, three wide and two rows back. Orland sideways, bounces the back end off the wall. Keeps her gassed up down the back straightaway. All the while back out front. Millwood's opened up about a 10 car advantage over Zach Mitchell in 57. Then it's Tyler Bear in the 43 in the third spot. The back Danny Delman now. And Brandon Overton's your top five. Kyle Hardy is up to six. The three V of Kyle Hardy and Russell Irwin right behind him. Ladies and gentlemen, seeing the show. We are now less than 25 laps to go. In the 42nd run into the USA 100, there's contact in the front straightaway. That's shot Johnny Persley, Rambo Dennis Franklin, Donald Bradshaw. I Once hate again. to say it's in the back of the pack, but that's where the racing is, Tommy. They're side by side. Rambo gets gassed up and he tries to get away from him. I mean, I got nothing but love for the guys in the top 10, but look at the racing in the back. They're this racing like no tomorrow. Second spot underneath Zach Mitchell. Mitchell slid just a touch high. Now Tyler Bear, can he race down the back straightaway and reel in the 31 of Millwood? Tyler Millwood still out in front. 22 laps to go. Tyler Bear, a former fast track Southeast Touring Champion. He's won the fast track Triple Crown before. He's won the fast track East Coast Rumble before. He moved up to Super Late Model Racing this year, Tommy. He had a dismal race in the King of the Commonwealth, but to no trouble, turn two. Dale Hollidge is off the pace in the zero car. Top of turn two, he's under power, so we will suspect a flat right rear, but we will back for the restart. Thank you to our sponsors for making it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, back for the resumption of the USA 100. Green flag back in the air. They'll rock it into turn one. Zach Mitchell and Tyler Bear side by side. Bear will take over that second spot. Mitchell to third. Overton up to the fourth position. Then it's McDowell. Here we go now. We're coming back off of turn four. Off of turn four. Back in 66, uh, Matt Cosner on the pit road. They are single file at the very bottom of one and two this time through. But again, at the tail of the pack, they are two and three wide. Back across the line, that lets it off to turn four. Another lap of the board. 41, now making 19 laps to go. Car slung like a rag doll, three wide contact. Kyle Lear gets into Moreland. They go to the front straightway back in turn one. My goodness, we got racing in the backpack. Where are you all watching this thing from? Let us know in the chat box where you're tuning in and seeing the excitement of the USA 100. Tommy, it is exciting. Here they come again, three and four wide in the rear. 
Trey White, Kenny Moreland, Johnny Persley, Rambo, Jeff Smith, Justin Williams. They are beating and banging back there. Whoa, Jeff Smith gets turned around. The 24 car to see the 94. The 94. 94. 94. Jason Miller turns Jeff Smith. No, that's Ross Bell. Ross Bell's been he, he really this far. It's a couple weeks ago. Here we go. We're getting ready to go green. And then two national stars in over 10 and down. Green flag. Oh! Tyler Bear shuts the door. Oh, Mitchell. Mitchell going cross over to the inside. He may help him out. Nope. They race him clean side by side. Look through that middle of the pack though, two and three wide. Kyle Hardy tags the outside wall down the back stretch. He'll keep her gassed up. He's got Michael Page right behind Trouble! Cars involved. Johnny Persley slides in. That's Justin Williams up against the outside wall. He collected Johnny Persley as well. Irwin. Michael Page has made his way up into the top ten. Here we go. Green flag out. Millwood got an early jump that time. Tyler Bear going to follow him through. Brandon over to third. Side by side battle for the fifth spot between Irwin and Mitchell. Fifth. Three wide into turn three for the sixth spot. And 15 groups to go. Here in the USA 100 top end. Millwood setting his sights. Holy cow, did you see that little cross bounce? She's yes, sir. From the outside. Holy the smokes. Side. What's the word that my buddies James Essex and Dustin Jaren used at Eldora last week? More slot jobs than a, than a, than a, uh, a crystals or a, well, a crystals down here, a White Castle. I don't We've know. We've seen a lot of slot jobs here tonight. And we're going to drop on the back straight away. A car is off the pace. Is that Michael Page? That is Michael Page. Michael Page, after making his way up into the top eight, I believe. And Page jinxed him totally. I'm sorry. Sorry, Michael. He the may, he may have spin. a left rear down, as a matter of fact. We just won't call it a That's why. I believe he does. Driving at Douglasville, Georgia, with the left rear tire down. Another car at the pace. That's Kyle Lear, the 151. He's got a problem. He'll go behind the wall. We are working now 12, making now 11 laps to go. Tyler Millwood out in front in the 31. Leads the way. 11 to go back to turn one in the USA 100. Has he got the tires left? He's got open track ahead of him, but does he have enough rubber underneath him? Followed by Tyler Bear, but you know Brandon Overton and Neil McDowell are back there. What does that do to your psyche? You, you, they change your line. Smart Get Money says no. You just keep doing what you're doing because it's worked pretty dang on good so far. Ten laps to go. Ladies and gentlemen, settling in for the home stretch now. Millwood, Tyler Bear, Brandon Overton, Dale McDowell, Russell Irwin, your top five. Is anybody going to make a move? Or is it all Tyler Millwood? to make history and win the biggest super late model race of his career and $20,000 plus Tommy Tedder, the Golden Eagle, the beautiful Golden Eagle trophy. And it could change our points lead too, because I believe he's just nine points behind, if even that, behind our leader. It'll certainly tighten it up. He's already running currently in the one, two, three, four, five, six, six position. So they'll draw it back in with just a couple of points difference between the top two. Across the line, seven laps to go down. Seven laps remaining. Out in front, car number 31, Tyler Millwood. Leading the way, Tommy Tedder, you got cars dropping off like flies on the attrition rate. As looks like Johnny Persley and Corny Kenny Moreland both going behind the wall. They're going to pull them pet side. And five to go at the line for Tyler Millwood. Millwood will lead him back. He's got about half a straightaway advantage over Tyler Bear as they work it through one and two. Then it's just a couple back to Brandon Overton in the fourth car and a couple more back to Dale McDowell. The 22 of Russell Irwin sits right at the end of the top five. Then it's Zach Mitchell at 57. Ross Bell's at 79. The three of Kyle Hardy in the eighth position and Joey Coulter in the two car in the ninth spot. Then it's the 41. Good run for Andy Anderson running 10th tonight. Across the line it will be now three laps to go when they come to the strike. Tyler Millwood flashes under the flag stand. 
He's in turn one. Rambo with a problem in front of your lead. Right turn two. Tire down on the Schwartz chassis of Rambo Dennis Franklin. And could we see a late race caution? Caution is, on Tommy. the speedway. Caution on the speedway. Three words, Tommy Tanner. This changes everything. Or could it not be? Wow. Millwood's got Millwood a with a flat right rear. Millwood with a flat right rear. Your leader. Are you kidding? And this will give the lead to Tyler Bear, the 43. Pit track, tell them what they're trying to do there. Trying to pick up some mud to build the weight back up on the car. They have a minimum weight they have to be. Most of these cars have to be 2,350 pounds. That's right. Uh, with all the uh, burnoff and everything, they want to make sure they've got You can be over, but you can't be locked. Green flag back in there. Tyler Bear will lead them back to turn one. He got a good jump over Brandon Overton and Dale McDowell. Tyler Bear, the 43 car, will lead him off the two with about a five car lead to pick. Can Overton or McDowell reel it in? They'll come to the line this time by. Two laps to go. The Bullhorns are up from your flagman. It is your leader. Out in front, Tyler Bear, trying to win the biggest race of his career. The man is trying to upstart his career again. Big Sexy Brandon Overton sits in the number two spot. And the national superstar, Delvin Dowell in third. One left to go in the 42nd run into the USA 100. Tommy Tedder bring him to the finish. Tyler Bear will lead the field off of turn two. He's got about a 10 car length advantage over Brandon Overton as he worked back to turn three for the USA 100 here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Tyler Bear will pick up the USA 100, followed by Brandon Overton and Dale McDowell. Fourth will go to Russell Irwin. The fifth spot will go to Zach Mitchell. Fans, we're going to go talk to a happy this young place man. He's going bonkers, Tommy Tanner. He's at the scale. Thumbs up. He's won the USA 100. A former Fast Track Southeast Tour champion, Fast Track Triple Crown champion, Fast Track East Coast Rumble champion, and now wins the biggest race of his career in super late model racing in the 42nd running of the USA 100. Presented by HoosierDriver.org. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tyler Bear, Lil coming in 43. Tommy Tanner is down there amongst the celebration. It's going to be a good one. over here and see we can't have a word. Tyler Bear, congratulations, man. You had a field behind you. You had this 43 hot rod going good. Yep. Let him give him a little hug here. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Tyler, again, congratulations, man. You got to be super stoked right now. Oh, man, this is unbelievable. It's about like winning the World 100, I feel like. Uh, especially the first super race to ever win. Uh, this is the eighth time out in the car, or in a super, and or this one, and uh, I can't thank these guys enough. Well, man, I, I tell you what, you just ran, you ran consistently all race long, but when you had your chance, you took it. Yeah, we talked about it there before the race started. Uh, they said to go hard a little bit and then back off and kind of ride. I kind of went hard the whole time there until the end. Uh, I seen the 31. He looked like he was slowing down. And I, got into or got going there pretty good and then he had to flat i tell you you got a twenty thousand right rear tire on you know that yeah i think so I, it's a good one tell us who your sponsors are because i know you want to give them a big shout out tonight big shout out to brian and lou brian owns the car and does all the work with it uh i mean it, it's just phenomenal to be able to drive for them uh, their stuff all is they're all organized and they got all their stuff in shape and uh, i mean they work their butts off uh, I like to thank my dad. Uh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't. This wouldn't be possible either. Folks, give a big hand for Tyler Bear. We're going to let him get with family here. Emotional time for all these people. Dave C. Real quick, let me let get in here.
videography at its best. It's Speedway Car Cams or nothing. Thanks for tuning in to Speedway Car Cams. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos out here for Ginger Motor Speedway. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.